Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already checked it out, subscribe to my channel below and also comment if you want any videos or anything, any questions answered uh, and I can be, I'm more than happy to put out some content based around that. Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit more about some options when it comes to investing in the stock market or investing in real estate. Now, before I get stuck into this, remember that nothing you hear on here is considered financial advice. It's general in nature and the potential situations we might discuss are up to your own judgment. So don't take anything here as gospel as it is with any sort of financial thing that you take on board from anyone else. Regardless of if they're a professional or not, you get to make your own decisions. So just remember that and just a preface for that before we get stuck in. What we're gonna be talking about today, as I said, is should we invest in the stock market or in real estate? Real estate is considered one of Australia's hottest markets and a lot of Australians typically gravitate towards real estate as maybe their first investment or one of the biggest investments they make. And many investors turn to the stock market as a place to invest their dollars. While stocks are well-known investment options, not everyone knows about the options of real estate and considering it as an investment. And under the right circumstances, real estate can be an alternative to stocks which offers lower risk, yields better returns, and also provides greater diversification. So we're gonna weigh up some of the pros and cons of each of these, the stocks and real estate, and also give you hopefully some ideas where you can be better equipped to make decisions on if it suits you and your needs. The decision to invest in real estate or stocks is definitely a personal choice, and it depends on many things, your financial situation, your risk tolerance, your goals, your investment style. But before we get stuck into things with both of these investment options, we need to go over some fundamental differences between the two. So first and foremost, real estate. Now, real estate is not as liquid as stocks and tends to require a greater amount of money and also time, but it does provide a passive income stream and the potential for substantial appreciation or capital growth. Stocks, however, are subject to the market, economic and inflationary risks, and also don't require such a big cash index and like a first home buyer's deposit or deposit on your house. Um, and they generally can be easily bought and sold as with real estate. It's a lot harder to buy and sell. Let's talk about real estate first and foremost, and we can just weigh up some things and a bit of background information. So if you're buying real estate, you're gonna to have to save and put down a pretty substantial amount of money for your deposit, up to 20% or in some cases as low as 5%. And with real estate, you acquire physical land or property. So you've got that physical thing. You can see it uh, and it's quantifiable. Most real estate investors make money by collecting rent, which can be provide a steady income stream and through appreciation or capital gains as the property's value goes up. Also, since real estate can be leveraged, which means say you're putting 25 grand into stocks, which buys you 25 grand of value, assuming that you're not using any sort of things like margin accounts or anything like that, just, just traditional buy 25 grand of stocks, 25 grand worth of value. The same investment in real estate could buy you up to $125,000 uh, with a mortgage and also to tax deductible interest. So you're using this leverage with real estate. It's possible to expand your holdings even if you can't afford to pay the cash outright as well. For many prospective investors, Real estate is very appealing because of its tangible asset that again can be controlled and with the added benefit of diversification. So real estate definitely is the one thing that a lot of people tend to go towards because it's that physical thing that they can see, they can touch essentially, whereas stocks are a little bit more mysterious in the fact that you don't necessarily, where you actually do, you don't own this thing and you can't see it and you can't take it with you anywhere. So. Some of the pros of real estate investing is that there's passive income, there's definitely a lot of tax advantages, it can be used as a hedge against inflation, so the amount of return will actually beat inflationary targets of 2%, uh, and you've got that ability to leverage your money to get you a little bit more than what you might uh, have to put down. Some of the cons are that it's a lot more work than buying stocks. Uh, that might mean time outlay when looking into real estate or researching, uh, also time invested in the property. If you're managing a property, um, you're also paying things like maintenance costs. Um, it is expensive and it's illiquid. You can't just buy and sell it quickly. Uh, within seconds, it takes months or years to buy and sell things, especially in real estate. Uh, there's also high transactional costs with, involved with selling and buying and appreciation isn't always guaranteed. 
there is a, always a risk to that downside. Now, when we talk about stocks, when you buy stocks, you buy a tiny piece of a company and in general, you can make monies in one of two ways. You can get the stock to appreciate in value as the company's stock price increases over time or you can get dividends from stocks that pay dividends as some form of passive uh, cash flow. The pros are that it is highly liquid. You can buy and sell very, very fast microseconds. It's easy to diversify. If you know what you're doing, you can make up a portfolio of different things which give you a lot of outlay. It does have very low transactional fees when applied against real estate, and it's easy to add tax advantage retirement accounts, more so in the US and other countries where we have things like the 401k um, and things like that, or investing inside your super. The cons are that it's very volatile, so a lot more volatile than real estate, where stocks can go up and down in value hours, days, months, whereas real estate might take a lot longer time for things to move around. Selling stocks can trigger bigger taxes when we talk about capital gains, um, and some stocks can move sideways for years. It also is a lot emotionally driven with investing because of the news, the media around it can make you question your actions uh, and move in a more reactive state than maybe real estate. Um, one of the alternatives now, some people might never have heard of this before, but they're called REITs, which is a real estate investment trust. And these are bought and sold on stock exchanges as well. So this can be a way to invest in real estate, but it's also a stock. It can be bought and sold like a stock. So a bit of background on REITs is that they're a company that owns and operates finances, income generating real estate. So they're modeled after things like mutual funds or exchange traded funds, and they pull the capital of lots of investors. And this makes it possible for individual investors to earn dividends from real estate that they use through uh, people paying rent, and they don't have to buy, manage, or finance properties themselves to get exposure to the property market. So you can have a look on any stock exchange, the ASX has a few, or just Google up what is a REIT or what kind of REITs are there, and you can make your decision. So obviously a lot of factors to consider here, uh, and it's gonna be always up to you and your personal investment decision. Do you have a lot of money that you would like to leverage? Do you prefer being able to easily access that money with things like stocks? Are you interested in a more physical thing like property? Um, so weigh those things up to you and that'll help you make a better decision when you're taking your best interests uh, into action. And again, if you can speak to someone who's an advisor or you wanna talk about tax or you just wanna look into real estate as an investment, there are professionals out there that can help you as well. And the things to consider majority is what money you have access to, how you wanna use that money, what sort of return do you want, uh, what sort of returns are you chasing in the future? And also, when do you need access to that money? So hopefully you've taken away a little bit from today and you can help make a better decision on what you want to do with your money. Should you invest in real estate? Should you invest in stocks? The decision is up to you. Thanks for your time today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.